Hi everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about a fundamental movement skill game called Frogs and Fish. So this is a game that we're going to be breaking down into four builds. And in build one, what you're going to do is you're going to take all of your students into your playing area and you're going to divide your class into two equal teams. One of the teams is going to start off as the frogs, the other team will start off as the toads. Once you have your teams, have your students get into a scattered formation and inform them that each team will have to move in their own unique way. Now the frogs are going to be practicing their hopping, taking off and landing on one foot, whereas the toads are going to be practicing on their jumping, taking off and landing on two feet. Have the students practice their skills for a couple of minutes and make sure that you have the team switch roles so that each team gets to practice both skills. Once you feel comfortable moving on to the next build, it's time for build two, which is food flies. So in this build, you're going to have your playing area divided into three parts. Where the frogs and toads are standing, that's the burrow. Where the beanbags are, that's the riverbank where all the flies are hanging out. And everywhere in between is the river. Now the frogs and toads have to make their way across the river, moving in their respective ways. Which means that the frogs have to hop across the river, take one fly, and then hop back to the burrow where they drop that fly off. The toads will have to do the exact same thing, except, you guessed it, instead of hopping, they will have to practice their jumping, where they will be jumping across the river, going to collect one fly, and once they have their fly, they will be jumping back, all the way to the burrow where they deliver that fly. The game will go on like this until the frogs and the toads have managed to collect all of the flies from the riverbank and brought them back to their burrow. Once they have done so, you can have the team switch roles and play again. For build 3, we're going to be introducing some lily pads to the game. So in the river area, the teacher will place out different poly spots which will serve as lily pads. The different colors for the lily pads represent different actions. For example, the orange lily pads mean that when you're standing on it, you have to balance. Whereas the blue lily pads, when you're standing on it, you have to perform some kind of exercise, let's say like an air squat. And as for the green lily pads, when you're standing on a green lily pad, you have to perform some kind of stretching action. So now the frogs and toads can try and make their way across the river, stopping at a lily pad whenever they want, but making sure they're performing the appropriate action when standing on that colored lily pad. Now we're ready for build 4, in which we'll be introducing the tags to the game. So in build 4, we're going to be taking some of the students, who are now going to be turned into fish. The fish are the tags. Now fish attempt to tag frogs and toads as they cross the river. However, a fish cannot tag a toggle or frog when they're in their burrow, because they're safe there. Same thing if a frog or a toad is standing in a lily pad, they cannot be tagged because they're safe there as well. And if ever a frog or toad managed to make it all the way to the riverbank, they also cannot be tagged while in the riverbank because they are safe. Now all that being said, if a frog or toad does get tagged in the river, what happens is that they switch roles. So a toad becomes a frog and they have to run back to their burrow where they have to restart. And if a frog or a toad was leaving the riverbank with a fly in their hand and became tagged, Again, they switch roles, so a frog becomes a toad, they have to go place the fly back on the riverbank, and then go back to the burrow where they start over. So that's Frogs and Fish, a fundamental movement skill game that we've broken down into four builds. To get additional information on this game, such as safety concerns, equipment needs, or additional rules and builds, feel free to visit the Frogs and Fish game page on thephysicaleducator.com. Once again, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy teaching.